Okay, welcome to Dr. Frankenstein's lab tonight. I have a setup here to show you the high voltage that um, I've been producing with this um, CFL circuit that evolved in different directions and right now we're working with uh, Tesla coil basic uh, technology right now with the uh, CFL circuit. And what I have here is a CFL mounted right on top of the ignition coil. And then um, I have this conversion tube another ignition coil with a receiver ball and a 110 volt neon to show the energy coming into this side of the uh, circuit. The conversion tube is hooked with one wire into this long tube here which is Aroma's idea. It's a fluorescent tube uh, about an 18 watt um, wrapped with 26 gauge wire. I, mine is uh, 700 turns one end of it it's open down here nothing on that end and there's no wires on the other end of the CFL or the uh, fluorescent tube at all the power comes into it in one wire right here and then I'm going to draw the current off of it through this induction coil right here basically secondary coil of a tester coil is uh, what I think I have here I'm going to feed it into another coil and you'll see energy coming out here on this side um, this circuit over here is the same one we've been using. Um, I did find out today that this 5 mag ohm potentiometer in series to the earth ground was real critical, at least in my circuit, to make this get the high voltage uh, coming out the other side. Uh, one of the people asked me if this was plugged into the wall, and it's not. It goes into an earth ground. looks like an extension cord, and it is that doesn't go into the wall, it goes outside the door into the ground. So don't be confused by that. This is running off a little 12 volt battery. I do have it plugged into a power supply to charge it up, but it's 12 volt. And then um, the amp draw on this um, system, the way I have this is about an amp and a half. I have it cranked all the way up. It'll run at uh, 20 to 30 milliamps. The bulb will light up here but I don't get the fireworks and I want to show the fireworks tonight so it's about an amp, amp and a half with all the fireworks show going on now this kills the camera when I get anywhere near this so I'm going to have to do this from a distance I'm going to turn it on and step far away and then turn the lights off or turn them down so you can see what's going on I'll try to explain what's happening let me turn this on and get the camera far away here Okay, the action is taking place right down there. That's where all the magic is really happening in that conversion tube and that spark gap that's going on right now. And uh, it's lighting up uh, all these bulbs. And uh, I don't know if you can see this. I'll try to not get too far away or too close. But there's my amp draw. I can't get any closer. This camera's going to stop. It's about uh, right at about an amp right now to make all this go. Now what I'm going to do is turn the lights down so you can see this better. I'm going to dim the lights down a bit here. Okay, now you're going to start to see the light show going on. The big bulb in the back there is um, the CFL that's sitting on top of the ignition coil. The long skinny one there is just laid against the metal of that sparking device. And then the one on the far right hand side is the long fluorescent tube that has the one wire going into it. And then, I don't know if you can see that or not, I'll try to zoom in a little bit here, but there's a little orange light right there. That's the 110 volt neon that's being excited by this circuit. And uh, here again, the ignition coil is being fed with one wire. It also may be getting some of the energy through that ball being transmitted across the air from there and also from the sparking that's going on down there. But uh, anyway, I've learned a lot about this and how this works. It's uh, capacitance, induction, and time. And those three things, you put them all together and mix them up in a bowl, and you end up with um, the uh, fireworks show that's going on right there. And I have found this very, very interesting, um, what I've learned in the last few days. This is all about Nikola Tesla.
fascinating uh, man and fascinating stuff that uh, he uh, he invented.